Welcome back to Ahmedabad, the venue for the third test match, day one in the India vs Sri Lanka Vidicon Cup Test Series 2005. Finally, everything in readiness for the play to get underway. It's been a wait for a while now, and the Britain Seva captaining India for the first time becomes the 29th captain in the history of Test cricket for India, the second from Delhi after Bishan Singh Bedi. Won a very good toss on a pitch that looks quite good for batting on day one. A couple of changes in the Indian team. Rahul Dravid unwell, so he had to make way for Mohamed Kaif. And then Ganguly being left out of the side. Virinda Seva comes in and comes into captain. It's a very strong batting lineup. Gambir, Seva, Lakshman, Tendulkar, Yuvraj Singh, Mohamed Kaif. Well, great opportunity for him. Looks a very well balanced team, India. Good morning, Ranil. Good morning, Shiva, and a good morning to all our viewers. So changes in the Sri Lankan side, the problems for them because there are two pacemen, Shamin Dawas and Dilara Fernando, down with the flu and uh, so a chance for Lasit Malinga and also Fervez Maruf comes into the side. Top of the order, Upul Taranga replaces Avishka Gunawardhana, so three changes for Sri Lanka. Not being very lucky with the toss, Marvin Atapatu. She lost three in a row in this series. Just might find the new ball will count here. Gambir has been uh, not amongst the runs in this series, but he's got a good start to this test career. Decent average of just under 38. 103.50s. Well, he's been working on his footwork. He's been dismissed a couple of times leg before. He's ready. Lasit Malinga playing his first test match in this series. It can be an awkward customer with the new ball. Be testing time for these openers. Gambir not amongst the runs. We're in the Sevak after a brief illness. Back in the side. Places Billy Barrett. Malinga to Gambir. That's quick. Good carry as well. Well, he didn't pick it up. And if not anything else, the Indians will have to face two bowlers whom they haven't seen in this series. In fact, Lasit Malinga hasn't been uh, seen at all. Shevag uh, coming back after missing the second test match due to illness. He's 39th and uh, he's out there as captain for the first time. Another good delivery. From Malinga. Sri Lanka will have to pick up early wickets. And the new bowlers will have to deliver. No was. Gautam Gambir was um, short of footwork in the last test match. Now twice cheaply. And there again, not moving too much. Just quickly getting into position. Sit Malinga is fairly sharp. He's also got this round arm action. Which has been uh, why he's been a fairly successful bowler. Mm, bit of aggression, that's what they require, the Sri Lankans. That was quick, 143 Ks. And uh, Gautam Gambir just getting out of the way in the nick of time. Taken by surprise, took the gloves away as well. So, he was watching the ball, kept his eyes on it and that was good. Attacking field position. Billy Bowden. Well, he's travelled the world the last one year, everywhere, and he's here today. 34th Test match for him. And his partner, Nadeem Gauri from Pakistan, had a very good Test match in Delhi. Just his third, the last one. This is his fourth. It's not very easy to umpire the subcontinent with so much of noise. It's first run for India, and it's a boundary, and it's off the bat as well. So Gambir and India get off the mark with a boundary. A 
have been crowds here from uh, early this morning waiting to get in Sunday crowd and they enjoyed it first blood uh, for India that's one of the things that Malinga has to watch it with his round arm action he tends to uh, drift down the leg side to the left-hander Gambir was nicely in position just to tickle it away off his hips two slips Gully and a man uh, square of the wicket catching again can't stray onto the pads of Gambir picks up a single to retain strike India five for no loss So India winning a very good toss, deciding to bat first. Gambir has taken all the strikes so far. Mohamed Kaif gets into the team. Place of uh, Sarah Ganguly and then Sevag gets in uh, for Dravid, who's unwell. So, two new ball bowlers for Sri Lanka. We already saw Lasit Malinga. Now it's going to be Farviz Maruf. No Vas, no Fernando. Still relatively new to uh, Test cricket. He's had the six Test matches. This is his sixth one. Only the five wickets, which is an indication. But he's still very much uh, a learning bowler. And that strike rate is very high. 135.62 for 62, his best. That was in Zimbabwe. So he gets an opportunity because uh, Fernando and Was are indisposed. And it's a chance for him to try and give off his best, of course. Make the most of this experience. There should be some assistance on this pitch prepared for a five-day game so naturally there would have been a lot of watering rolling to bind the surface together and that always assists the new ball bowlers in the first hour, hour and a half so it's up to Maruf to try and get himself in at this early stage important that he bowls a good line and length with the new ball try and take it towards the slips he's got two slips a gully fairly straight He's also got that uh, point fielder. So there's uh, four of them catching for Maruf. Did reasonably well in the one day as far as Maruf. Split his webbing. And now he's back in the team after being fully fit. One of first Sri Lanka's future hopefuls, captain of the under-19 side, did well in that uh, under-19 World Cup. He's played a fair amount of one-day games, but it will take him time to establish himself in the test side. With a miss leg stump, which will be leg buys, just a single. And it is. We saw the pitch this morning, Ranil, and you worked a lot in Sri Lanka. What do you think of the pitch? I thought it was a pretty good one to bat on day one. Yes, definitely. Um, there's no grass on it. Center. Just the grass clippings that have been uh, rolled onto the surface. And um, I reckon the first innings will be the best innings to bat. And then, of course, the next one, as uh, the records also show, the uh, run scoring has... Uh, kept reducing as the game uh, progresses but right now it's uh, firmly rolled nice and flat and once this initial moisture dries out should be a good track to bat on today save our goal strike great delivery very movement off the scene and also in the right zone Parviz Maruf 
nice upright seam. And uh, Shewa just uh, shaping to play at it. Realized that it was uh, going to go away from him and uh, takes his bat away. Just withdraws it at the last minute. So Maruf has the ability to bowl out swing, mainly in swing, but uh, does take it away. And that's where he's got to bowl most of the time to Shewa. Got two slips in a gully for Virinder Sevag and also a man at short extra cover. That's where they got rid of him in uh, Chennai. First innings. Seen Dilhara Fernando bowl the slower delivery to good effect. The short extra cover will come into play with the slower deliveries. They're not expecting the ball to stop on the batsman on day one. Great delivery again, this time coming in with the seam. The appeal was for caught behind. And I don't think there was any contact with the bat. This did uh, touch something. So two deliveries leaving the bat. And then one coming back very sharply. Top delivery. Shrebak knew nothing about it. Goes right through bat and pad. That's the bat brushing the pad. That's what made the noise. So that's a good delivery, a very good one from Maruf. Also bounced, also carried through to the keeper. And a good decision from Nadim Gauri first up. Off the mark in Sebok's time. Fantastic shot. Two overs gone, it's 10 for no loss. Ten for no loss in there after two overs. Both batsmen off the mark with boundaries. Gambir on five, Virinder Sebag on four. Look for a big partnership top of the order. This man will look for a breakthrough. It's been Bas and Fernando right through the series with the new ball. But here we've got Malenga and Maruf. They have the potential, can they strike? Man at leg gully now. For Malenga. Yes, it's an important game for the Sri Lankans. Tough one. They've lost the one-day series badly, lost the last test match. So it's uh, tough on the mind of the captain. He's got to try and put all that behind. Try and give a good account. The last test match for Sri Lanka for this year. Bowled well, Lasit Malinga. It's been good entertaining cricket. We're into over number three, the last two over from Farviz Maruf. Ball number five and ball number six. Ball number five, the bowler was on top. Ball number six, the batsman right on top. We'll get back to that. happened in the last over. Farviz Maruf was the bowler. Great delivery and a very good decision. There were two sounds, bat hitting the pad and after that you can see what the Sivag is all about. The previous delivery did not play on his mind. The next one was in the slot to be hit and he hit it perfectly. dot balls and a much better over coming up uh, from Malinga. First one uh, perhaps a little loosener. 
captain acknowledges uh, the good balls ball so far he's put it put the ball in the right places got Gambir playing got him shuffling across the crease and he's bowling it fairly sharp too quickest of 144.6 in the first one so he's uh, in that 140 range he's got a different action a slinging action sometimes as a batsman you'd find it extremely difficult to pick up the ball yes that uh, customary kiss of the ball as he takes off nice rhythmic approach eyes on the spot he's going to land it and it gets uh, very side on and the umpire's uh, tie is in the region where the ball comes off and that's perhaps the reason why uh, Billy Bowden has put his tie behind his back. <laughs> Opted to play the pull shot. Hasn't made good contact. He'll pick up the single again. Gautam Gambir. 11 for no loss. India. Sharad Power there in the picture, president of the Board of Control for Cricket in India. On his left is Mr. Niranjan Shah, the secretary of the BCCI. Had a big presentation this morning for Sachin Tendulkar for his 35th Test Match 100. And also Anil Kumble playing his 100th Test Match for India. Just become the fifth Indian to do so. Great occasion for these two guys, Radin. Absolutely. And uh, that's uh, Sachin Tendulkar for his uh, 35 Test Match 100s. The 35th in that last Test Match in uh, New Delhi. And also a big day for the uh, leg spinner, Anil Kumble. 100 Test Matches for him. Proud moment. Balloons flying in the air and um, Red Chapel looking up at the skies. Never enough as far as Sachin is concerned. And Sachin presented that to Anil Kumble for his 100th test match. Well, this man has got to work hard. Looks like he's worked on his footwork. Hasn't been tested too much on the front foot in this innings. In marginally short of a length, both bowlers, Malinga and Maruf. Chennai, no score. He was bowled then. And Delhi, 2 and 3, LBW in both the innings. More in control, not getting across with his front leg. The previous occasion, just a single to Gambir. Yes, definitely, Shiva. He looks much more organized. But uh, to his credit, he looks very composed. Although he's had uh, three low scores, he's well composed. Just getting his leg out of the way. It's a little movement of the feet. Just uh, turning his uh, front toes around to make sure that he doesn't go too far across and get wrapped on the pad. So he's obviously conscious of the fact that he must not get his foot too far across. Expect great things from Virinder Sivag, the crowd here. 
And he's also the kind of player who will make his presence felt. A little more responsibility for him today, captain of India. Already see the dry nature of this pitch. The foot marks getting scuffed up. Good delivery in the over. Four overs gone. It's 12 for no loss. Third test here in Ahmedabad, India leading the series 1-0. So Lakshman slated to come in at number three, no draw with this match. Tendulkar four, Yuvraj five, Mohamed Kaif will have to make this opportunity count. He's a good player. Then Dhoni Patan looks very deep with Agarkar and Kumble and Harbhajan coming at number 11. Not often do you see that. And it's a be lucky with the toss once again. looked in better control Gautam Gambhir He's had the major part of the strike 18 deliveries against Sevag 6 but for me Mas Malinga has been on the shorter side he needs to get fuller Again the shot delivery, just eluding the man at shots per leg. Not totally in control. But will pick up three. Tested him with the short delivery first up. Banged it short. Gambir wasn't in control in the early over when he played the hook shot. Same here again. Uh, but this time it went further and it went squarer as well. It's a fast outfield too. But, uh, it's just picked up inside the boundary. So straight away into the action, testing the left-hander with the short one. Marvin Atapatu will look at uh, using Malinga in short spells. He can bowl quick. In the 140s, he needs to rotate his bowlers. Seen in the past, Sri Lanka have been over dependent on Vaas and Murli. And no Vaas this game means uh, the responsibility on the younger fast bowlers. It'll be a boundary. It was quick and four run signals. So we're in the Seba getting some bat onto that. Wasn't far away from the wicket keeper, but uh, Sangakara couldn't move uh, quickly enough. Fair distance from him because that uh, went very quickly. Captain knew it wasn't too far away, but he'd um, expect Malinga to shift that line more towards off stump. Playing it at the last moment. Initially, got the impression that Virendra Seba wanted to let that go. Just picks up a single. Some difficulty for Malinga trying to adjust his line to the left-hander and the right-hander. With his action, it will always uh, be a case until... He bowls and bowls and bowls for a lot more. The difficulty in uh, shifting from bowling to the left-hander and then to the right-hander. This is much better and this is fantastic to watch. Elegance all the way. So Gambir would be 
feeling extremely good about that. Change of pace, not working for Malinga. Juicy half volley, came nicely onto the bat. He leaned right into it, the front foot going close enough. Good balance. Didn't rush the shot, just waited a little bit and put it into the gap. So a lot of cons confidence will be got uh, from that stroke. The last shot through extra cover. What's the slower delivery? 121.6 and Gambir picked it up to perfection. They got a difficult action where the batsman find it uh, awkward to pick it up. The time of release of the cricket ball, a change of pace can make it even more difficult. 24 for no loss. हाउस नंबर फोर्टी थ्री सिर्फ सोनी एंटरटेनमेंट टेलीविजन एशिया पर Gambir the dominant partner. 14 to him. Nine to Sevag. Two slips in a gully, and there is a short leg. Three in the ring on the offside, saving a single for Virendra Sevag. Four boundaries already in this innings. Batsmen uh, picking up the deliveries they can score off, putting them into gaps. A bit of width and he smashed it. Mubarak in the way. Jahan Mubarak pulled off some uh, great saves uh, in the first test match. And he gets uh, the touch of the ball for the first time. Very powerfully struck. Uh, Square drive by Shebagi really got it on the middle of the bat. Unfortunately, it uh, found Mubarak. Three fielders on the leg, and it's a strong offside field. The man had shot extra cover, like we mentioned earlier. This is what happened in Chennai. The slower delivery from Chamindavas, and it was a good catch by the skipper Marvin Atapatu. Have a similar field here as well. And finds the fielder, Malinga Bandara. Is Maruf bowling within himself? He's into his third over. He's been economical. So he's around the 130 mark. Medium fast and um, perhaps can bowl quicker than that. But he's bowling within himself. There was a huge nick. Did that carry or was it dropped? Big sound. Certainly got some part of the inside edge for Virendra Sebag. Has Sangakara missed it? Four good deliveries and uh, that tempted the drive, the slash. And uh, Sangakara did collect it but the ball fell in front of him. Maruf was very excited. It did take the inside edge. And uh, falling just in front. We have just just touched the ground. Very interesting to see it from a different angle. Good over. It's a maiden. 24 for no loss.
24 for no loss in there. Going at a good rate. Just six overs have been bowled. Malinga will continue. That was a wild one from Malinga, but uh, Maruf bowled a good one to uh, Shevag, bowled a good over, in fact. Just making the ball to come back a little bit. Little inside edge, and certainly bouncing in front of uh, Sangakara. He stretched, but it dropped on him suddenly. May have expected it to get into the gloves, but falling just in front. Streaky, but a boundary. He's going hard at the deliveries outside the off stump, Gautam Gambhir. Bit fortunate the previous occasion. Yes, a very thick outside edge. Followed it. It was well in the gap right between those two fielders, Gully and uh, second slip. Bisected them. This is much better. This man has been outstanding. Mubarak at point has saved important runs for Sri Lanka. Short delivery, punched away nicely. It picked off pace off the turf pitches. Usually happens. But uh, Maruf, correction, Mubarak was very quick. Just a single again. This time it was much better from Gambir. He was trying to hit it into the ground. He's bowling that bouncer into the right areas. Around the chest, around uh, the face of uh, Gambir. He's been forced to play at it because he's uh, instinctively a player who plays that uh, pull and hook shot. And certainly that was the best uh, of the three. In terms of control, played it down, played it well. Can expect a few short deliveries around the off stump. The man at square point catching, and the third man is a good 10 to 15 yards inside the ropes. At the right line. Uh, yet again, Malinga struggling with the line. No sooner the right-hander comes in, he's still on the left-hander's off stump. He's not had uh, too much of match cricket. Played the one game, the uh, opener in uh, Bangalore. The warm-up match, but uh, that's a few weeks away now. So he's obviously struggling a little bit to put the ball in the right places. No ball, but a good delivery. He's trying to shake up the Indian openers, Rasit Malinga. Yet again, he's um, given the batsman a bit of a, a fright, but uh, certainly much over the line. Makes a big difference when you're that uh, few inches behind. Well handled by Shevag too. He got behind it, kept his eyes on the ball. It's 30 for no loss, India.
So India winning the toss and deciding to bat first. Uh, 30 without loss. Gambino 19 has looked in very good touch. Sevag is on 9. Farbiz Maruf will continue. He's both 3 overs, 1 made in 5 runs and no wickets. He's been economical, but Sri Lanka will look for a wicket. To take it through the next half hour, it's going to be Arun Lal. With him is Ranjit Fernando. Thank you, Shiva, and a very good morning to all our viewers. This is a good beginning for India. They won a toss. They didn't have to bat the first hour. Some moisture would have dried up, and they're 30 without loss. I have with me Ranjit Fernando. Good morning, Ranjit. Very good morning to you, and good morning all. Yes, I think India are fortunate in the fact that um, this game was delayed and uh, really didn't have to uh, bat on a surface which may have been slightly damp and moist. It may have suited someone like Marlinga in particular. So they've uh, got the best of this pitch and uh, are in an advantageous position. He's batting out of his crease, a good foot outside. He wants to reach the deliveries. Bit of pressure on Gautam Gambhir coming into this game. And you can sense that there's a little bit of nervous energy in the youngster. He's a naturally aggressive uh, young man, but he's had a few poor scores and there was some speculation of whether he would sort of give way to somebody else. But hats off to the team management for persisting with him. He's got potential. He's proved it before. So it's really worth persisting and he's got a, he's got a beginning now. Absolutely. I think uh, they really have to be uh, congratulated in the fact that they've decided to continue with him. It's so important that you keep uh, the morale going. Well, he's looking a lot more composed now. He was a bit of a hurry to begin proceedings. That's understandable. He would have been very tense. A lot of nervous energy there. They've got a, a pretty attacking offside field for him. Two slips, a gully and a very square point for the slash or the drive that he plays on the rise if he can't keep it down. So, two of them staring him in the face. Seems to be playing with a great deal of confidence and assurance. He did have a problem around that midland leg, middle stump region where he tended to play across the line. And uh, the Sri Lankans, um, no doubt, would be concentrating on uh, deliveries around that area. But just look at this. The balance very good and uh, very much in position. So important that you get your balance going uh, when you're batting. And uh, it does take a little bit of time. And uh, as Harun did mention, he was a bit fidgety earlier on. But he's looking a lot better here, Ranjit. He had a few technical problems in the previous test match. We felt that, you know, he was sort of taking his front foot right across uh, and then having to play across the pad was falling over with his head but that's been corrected he's a lot more composed he's waiting this is actually it's a matter of fractions really he's waiting that bit longer yes and I think that's all what coaching is about to try and er eradicate any problems and um, that really also is up to the player himself to keep working on it, it hasn't got much time well bowled, a maiden. It's 30 without loss. It's 30 without loss, Gambhir on 19 and Maharoof, uh, four overs, two maidens, five runs, no wicket. And we have a very special guest uh, with us in the commentary box now, Mr. Sharad Pawar, the board president and also the union agriculture minister. That's a good delivery. Welcome, sir. Uh, it's an honor to have you with us. Thank you very much. And initially, let me congratulate you on your new assignment as the board president. Yeah, really, thanks. It's not really easy, but uh, with the help of everybody, 
will perform better. So big responsibility there now, sir. On you will come back to that. Uh, but here, boards at the last instant, not ready. Uh, Sevag. Yes, I was saying a huge responsibility, sir, uh, along with your uh, commitments to the union ministry and now uh, also the board president of cricket, which is huge in the country. Yes, because I believe decentralization. I give, I believe to give powers to all colleagues, distribute the responsibilities and work as a collective team. Yes, yeah, so just talk us through this. What would you, uh, you know, basically, what would be the main focus areas for you as the president? Firstly, I had to create one situation that uh, I had to act as an administrator. And in administration, I'm going to divide. Tucked away for a single. Responsibilities in two parts. Matters relating to cricketing, game, players will be essentially handled by eminent people who has given their number of precious years for this game. And that is the reason why we have set up a committee under the chairmanship of Kapil Dev. In fact, when I'm working as the president of Mumbai Cricket for many years, so the all decisions relating to cricket are taken by eminent cricketers. They are the fight. It's in the air, a man getting under it, and Gautam Gambhir has thrown it away. He was there hooking almost compulsively. Taranga was posted there at square leg, couldn't quite keep it down, didn't quite get it in the meat of the bat either. A disappointed Gambhir walks back to the pavilion. Sri Lanka elated. Short delivery once again went for the pull, and this was easy pickings for Taranga. So they needed a wicket before lunch, and they've got it. And look at that reaction. Gautam Gambhir, a very disappointed man. He had a start, should have capitalized. But India now 31 for 1. Gambhir gone for 19. Thirty-one for one. Uh, Vivyas Lakshman walks in. Sixty-nine games, four thousand one hundred ninety-four runs, and he's walked in because India have just lost their first. Gautam Gambhir uh, hooking one too many. Didn't quite connect. Didn't quite connect on uh, many of the occasions that he had attempted. This is what happened. Just had to pull it from right outside the off stump, and couldn't control it. Just sliced it a bit. Got under it. Just too far from outside the off time and a bit quick onto him as well. And Taranga completing that easy take. So Sri Lanka, the wicket that they wanted. Malinga is the man. Not too much foot movement there. Well, coming back to you, sir. Uh, you were talking about the cricket committee and uh, the cricketers would be taking all those cricketing decisions. That's right. That should be the system because our job is essentially to execute the suggestions which has been given by eminent cricketers. I think country needs infrastructure and country also needs the scope and encouragement to grassroots level players. And uh, our total concentration will be on that direction. So it's worked well for you, sir, in uh, the Mumbai Cricket Association. You have a cricket committee that's taking all the cricketing decisions. Yes, in the last two years, right from selectors, umpires and uh, from each and every decision regarding the cricketers are taken by this cricket committee and our experience is extremely good bit of indifferent bounce here some balls not really carrying to the keeper we saw on an occasion uh, may have been an inside edge which didn't carry to sangakara so there's a little duality to this wicket at the moment That's the end of the over, a successful one. India, 31 for 1.
31 for one. The man out, Gautam Gambhir, caught Tharanga, bowled Malinga. He's literally threw it away. He got a beginning, almost settled those early nerves, and then one hook too many and uh, straight into the hands of Tharanga. So now a bit of repair job to do. But in the Sevag, there on 10. He's, well, been there for 22 deliveries. Vivias Lakshman just walked in, will be taking strike now because they've changed over at the time of that catch. One leg. So you were mentioning about uh, the infrastructure that you want to concentrate on. Uh, what exactly right, do you mean over. by that? Basically, Maidans, grounds. Our topmost priority will be to grounds. In number of places, proper grounds are not available to practice and play. Then, secondly, the important places, of course, the stadiums, but uh, topmost priority will be for grounds. Well, that's interesting to uh, hear from you that you really intend to increase the grounds and uh, playing surfaces for youngsters. One generally associates infrastructure with stadiums and lights and things. So, uh, basically, how is it going to be? You're going to help the clubs uh, rejuvenate their grounds? Or? Exactly. In fact, we are going to discuss with our state associations and trying to collect information from them, the places they have to select. And there, our total concentration will be to financially support these associations to develop grounds. We are not going to support the association just to keep money in banks and earn interest. So there is a lot of funds that uh, is available for uh, such deployment? Yeah, the yearly income, substantial, whatever the income which we are supposed to play on players, spend on players, that will be kept aside and at least 50% of the yearly income has to go for the infrastructure and development of the cricket and encouragement of the younger budding players. So that's wonderful to know, sir, uh, that the grounds, in fact, that is a big weakness uh, in most uh, cities. Well bowled, drew him forward, the away movement, he normally brings the ball back in. Fortunate not to get the edge, uh, VVS. Beautifully bowled, just off the seam and just too good a delivery. You had to play it because it was the angle that was bringing it in and there was that exaggerated movement off the seam. Yes, sir. in fact, coming back to grounds, in fact, I come from Calcutta and there's a paucity of grounds there as well. And we, most of the young cricketers are, in fact, having to play on football grounds. Really, the same grounds are used for cricket, hockey and football. So it's really interesting and we look forward to uh, an initiative in that regard. And so, certainly, I'm also seriously thinking, I'll definitely I'll consult with all my senior colleagues, whether we can set up these academies in at least one in every zone. Today the excellent work is going on in Bangalore, but if we succeed to set up this type of academies, at least one in every zone, I think we'll provide a tremendous opportunity to younger element. Indeed, uh, you're absolutely right. At the moment they have a, sort of these zonal camps that go on, uh, headed by the National Cricket Academy, and you have maybe one and a half uh, month camps but if you could set up something like, um, you know, departments of the National Cricket Academy all over the zone, so that would be require a, a lot of effort and time and money. That's right. But we have to give topmost priority for that. And we should, if we have to spend money, we should spend money for this type of activities. Last ball. That has been played exquisitely. This is Lakshman at his best. The turn of the wrists, go fetch it. Minimum fast but maximum results. It's 35 for one. Well, I'm still in conversation with the board president of India, Mr. Sharad Pawar. Sir, we're talking about uh, infrastructure. Let's move towards marketing. What are your 
initiatives or what are your thoughts on marketing the game? Firstly, in this week, we have to take a final decision about sponsorship because the team is going to Pakistan and our first contract is over. So I think we'll be able to take this decision on 19th or 20th. Then about other rights, television rights and others, the matter was impending in the court and Supreme Court has taken decision yesterday and allow us to take a final decision. So now, 19th or 20th, when we are meeting, market, marketing committee is meeting, along with sponsorship, we'll take this year also to invite a fresh tenders for the sponsor, for television rights. And we'll give opportunity to everybody. Only thing they have to uh, uh, guarantee us about excellent technology. And I'm confident that we'll be able to take all these decisions uh, mostly in next 10 to 15 days. I don't want to delay these decisions at all. Well left, he kept his eyes on, riveted on the ball. Ideal way of leaving the deliveries. Yes, sir, that's been uh, one area that we feel that the board is really moving quickly. We keep hearing a lot about uh, sponsorship, uh, the deals that have to be signed again, television rights, even radio rights. And uh, so a lot of things are happening very quickly. Radio rights and even contract, uh, uh, players' contracts before Pakistan. We have to finalize and uh, take a final view on these players' contract. That will definitely take before 30th of this month. Well, he thought about it then gave it up another one area sir uh, that really comes to mind uh, when uh, talking to you is uh, well transparency in the board's functioning how are you viewing that sir so in fact we had deputed data consultancy and they're supposed to give me report in another eight to ten days time and uh, they are going to suggest the total setup and uh, we'll discuss in working committee and we'll take a final view we want professionalism there, we want uh, tr total transparency there, and we want a very strong administrative setup. Was in the air for a while, it did hurt him, but it was around the wicket, Malinga. I wonder whether he did get a touch or not, but it's probably off the hip. He's quick and he's coming from around the wicket, and it's a round arm action, so the angle is accentuated when he comes from around the wicket just on the hip maybe just missing the thigh pad or just the fringes of the top of the thigh pad yes that hurt malinga generating a fair amount of pace here he's got a wicket no ball seva went for it there's a deep square leg and a fine leg but probably hurt the no ball didn't make contact just coming back to uh, Professionalism, sir. When you say professionalism, what exactly do you have in mind? You see, what happened? There are many people who has really given sufficient time for these board's activities, but uh, the setup was such because of this election and others. There is no central office. There is no permanent administrative setup which is looking now. I was just discussing about the Pakistan president. So he said we have six managers. One is looking. That's four. That is beautifully played. Just rolled his wrists over, over the delivery, controlled it well, and got tremendous timing on it. So Virendra Sehwag is looking good there. Very stable at the moment. Yes, sir. You were saying. So this is Pakistan president was telling me that one gentleman, one officer is looking exclusively on training, practicing. One is looking about marketing, third is looking about these tools. So like that, uh, one is looking about media. So like that, I think India also needs this type of all setup. But let us see what Tata people are going to suggest. And we also requested Tata, that they should, uh, Tata consultancy people, that they should consult people like Mr. Dalmia, Mr. Bindra, who, who are the senior people who spend a number of years in cricket. They should interact with them and then come with some specific proposals. Well, that's wonderful to hear, sir, that uh, all factions on the board are going to be involved with decision-making. Obviously, there's huge amount of experience there that you can really capitalize on. 
So there, there's going to be a central office of the board with separate managers for separate uh, functions? I think that will be there because I'm waiting for that recommendation of the Tata Consultancy. No ball. The over will be extended. And transparency, so how, how are you going to have that in the board? You see, basically, the all major financial decisions, major financial decisions, not small things, will be totally uh, kept open to for everybody, especially those who are supposed to participate. Now, take the case of tomorrow, this TV right. See, TV rights tenders will call everybody. I mean, those who are submitted their tenders, they, all of them will be present. And... We'll come back to Mr. Pawar. A single to end the over, 42 for one. Watch Gladrags Mega Model and Manhunt Contest. Watch the Gladrags Mega Model and Manhunt 2005. Gladrags Mega Model and Manhunt Competition 2005. Glad Rags, Mega Model and Manhunt 2005. Sir, Sony Entertainment Television Asia Bar. Forty-two for one, uh, uh, India. The man out, Gautam Gambhir. Thirty-five hundreds, and he was presented uh, with a plaque by Mr. Sharad Pawar, the board president. Sachin Tendulkar was honoured here. Yes, sir. You were talking about uh, the television rights. So all these tenders, whatever the tenders which we'll get, at least those who have submitted the tenders, they will be called, and each and every tender will be open in their presence. So there should not be any complaint from anybody. And the Hussein will provide the highest money to the board, that will be accepted. So this type of decision has to be taken in presence of all concerned people. I don't want a single decision which has been taken by few individuals without the knowledge of others and without the knowledge of other participants. And I think that is a way where nobody will get opportunity to criticize. Wonderful to hear that, sir, and uh, hopefully there will be fewer court cases as well uh, due, to, uh, due to these uh, policies. In fact, uh, we are going to discuss with our lawyers. There are, I think, more than 46 cases, in fact, we have discussed. And uh, uh, we'll be able to at least resolve 42, 43 cases in the next 8 to 10 days' time. Meanwhile, uh, there's been a bowling change. Mulitharan has come on. It's probably the last over before lunch. They're sort of testing the grounds. They haven't had too much opportunity. Just the one hour before lunch, the Sri Lankans. That is a terrific shot. Over pitch. Virinda Sehwag. It doesn't matter to him whether it's the last over or the first. If it's there in the slot, it's got to go. Beautiful hit to the fence by Sevag. Single. 